Hello everyone, my name is Ruza and welcome to an, another guide for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. And I have got the question quite a lot how to fly with mouse and keyboard, but you don't have a numpad. Um, most guides, if uh, will, uh, for example mine for mouse and keyboard, will um, highlight uh, how to use the numpad, like here, these keys here you can see the arrow keys and here is the numpad and you need to have the numpad activated to be able to use the keys for flying but um, there's actually people that doesn't have the numpad pad on their keyboard they have a smaller keyboard and uh, they asked yeah who's like, what the hell i'm gonna do uh, first thing first you click on general and you want to go to no you're not going to general you're going to controls ah it was a, a, a mind trick and here you can see uh, like mouse and keyboard uh, uh, default profiles and uh, here you can check okay what are the key binds and uh, we want to go to miscellaneous and we want to go flight control surface prime uh, primary control surface and uh, for me here you will see the the, the numpad controls and uh, here you can see mm, aileron left right center aileron rudder and uh, it's quite simple, like uh, nose down, uh, nose down, uh, uh, go to the left, go to the right, center, um, get your nose up. But also, um, go a little bit to the left, go a little bit to the right, and then brakes. So before you go on a remapping all of your keys, I should uh, search for, the, for these primary control surface. Like, does it say num numpad even though you don't have a numpad? I don't know because I don't have a have a keyboard. But the, what, before I go remapping, I would go here and see what it says. And uh, I would also like see okay before I go with like W E A S D that's a pretty smooth way to go for flying. Now, is there any control that uh, that I overwrite? So uh, you could always uh, check uh, check around like a uh, landing gear. Which keys uh, should I use? Lights and uh, and so on. Uh, will I overwrite so something? But otherwise, uh, here you see this, these. I would go for a VASD because the arrow keys will be used for something else when you when you're inside the cockpit, because you can like move around a little bit, and you can, uh, for example, if you manually want to click on a handbrake, you can uh, push your head down with the arrow key, so you can see um, the the brake button, and then. Uh, and click manually. You can. Uh, I will link down in the description no, the different uh, guide videos I have made so far. But if you want to go uh, with the re uh, remapping, you click over here, and uh, here you will see which number is selected. And uh, then uh, here you can see it's num four, and uh, then I left click with my mouse. You see, it's like this, and then I just click with the button I want. And uh, if I click the the wrong one, it will come uh, up with an alert. This is already used somewhere else. Do you want to bind it anyway? So there is a system in place. If you uh, accidentally click a button that have something else, you have to search for that key. Okay, what does it do? and then you validate but if you don't want to do anything and overwrite you click cancel so um, 
basically these should be put as a VASD and the and zero and enter. Yeah, I should have uh, find keys around the VASD uh, where you can tilt a little bit to the left, a, li a little bit to the right, and uh, a num decimal, the decimal sign on on the numpad, then the break button. So and um, that way I would have also fit something in the same area. Also, if you have a mouse with uh, multiple buttons, you could also use your mouse. And uh, if you're just uh, trying to learn uh, how, to, how to fly, I would just open up the menu and see, okay, where's the, uh, where's the brakes? How do I, <laughs> which button does what? And uh, it's, it's a great way to learn all the tips and tricks that, that's to learn in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Just to simply um, open up the settings what is the key combinations? And you don't have to learn all of them. Just to learn enough that you, that you can put yourself up in the air, then just add one more key combination. But yeah, with the mapping your own keys, be super careful. There's a lot of different key combinations already in place. So I would recommend first to check what does it say? What is the original? And you can fool around a little bit with um, uh, switching the, the keys and uh, the system will tell you, yeah, this key is already doing something. Just click cancel and try a different combination. Hope this is a short guide how to remap your keys. And best of luck, don't screw up. And uh, if you want to, to know anything else, check out my other um, light videos and also leave a comment down below what you want to know next. Thank you.